You start with a little idea and go to the hand. And if you're really lucky, you'll get stuck. <laughs> yeah, if you're really lucky, you get stuck because that's where learning takes place. If you just think of something and make that something, it's not really a creative process, right? This one is very much about the light inside it, so it's nice to look inside it. The collaborative process is interesting to me because it's so different. I mean, it happens a bit when you make a discovery on your own, but when it's someone else's mind is and hand is involved in it and it's successful, it's like really amazing. A restless tongue to classify, all born to grow and grown to die. Doing three-dimensional stuff and working with him, it's kind of opened my mind to completely different ideas, uh, different processes. I don't know, I really like his teaching style. It's laid back, but yet he has a lot of really good information and really makes you think about what you're doing and still have fun, which is always a good thing. I took Keely's class my first semester and I fell in love. I learned how to do a bunch of stuff women don't usually know how to do. How to weld, how to work with wood, how to use hand tools, and that was really fun and it just allowed me to do whatever it was I needed to do as an artist. I really believe, um, maybe for all of us, but especially for students, or maybe not, maybe, um, is to go too far is much better than to not go far enough. That if you, if you go too far, you learn something. If you don't go far enough, you'll never know. <laughs> right? So I think you just have to be brave.